G'day, in today's video I'm just doing a quick test to see if my Canon C70 paired with the 24-105 f2.8 will fit and work properly on the Axoon Top Rig S60 motorized slider. I'm actually a pretty big fan of this slider so far. Uh, today was pretty much my first really decent use of it. It's built really nicely and it's super quiet. So I've definitely got a lot of confidence that in an interview setting where I'm needing to capture good quality audio, I don't think this is gonna get in the way with any ambient noise. One of the other reasons I want to make this video today is that when I buy new gear, I really like to put it through its paces before I take it out on the field, just so I know the ins and outs, maybe some of the quirks and definitely just how to use it um, and its limitations before getting it in front of clients, as well as getting footage back into the computer to see it, not just on the screen, on the camera. So I'm really intrigued to see how the slider goes, especially in the 105 kind of range when moving back and forth and just make sure that this camera with this slider and this lens package would be a good fit for actual work. This is the gear I want to put on. So we'll just have to see if we can come in on weight, we might have to strip back the camera a bit. Top Rig S60 has a apparent weight of four kilo that it can take. So the camera on its own with the larger battery and everything else is just under four kilos. So obviously that's not gonna work. So let's uh, strip that back. I might get rid of the top handle, get rid of the mounting point. Now let's change the battery. Okay, so just doing that, we've saved 500 grams. So let's just check the weight of the ball head. 500 grams, okay, so we're behind again. So this is the ball head receiver, plus I've just got a Manfrotto kind of female. 255, so it's 750. Holy Land receiver, so call that 400. So looking at just under 1200. Plus, if we wanted to put a mic pack on, so call it 1400, and then a mat box. Okay, so 1700, give or take. So 1.7 kilos, that's a lot of weight to try and find. Probably gonna need to lose the rods bracket. Okay, so we're almost at three kilos. I don't have to use the female receiver so 3.2 so 3.7 so we're good to go as is so I think the mat box was only 300 so that we might get the mat box on and that's it to save just a little bit more space I decided to go for a smaller mat box so 170 so we've saved about 160 grams there so let's give that a crack almost 3.4 with the camera plus the 500 for the base plate so we're pretty much at capacity so I decided to put the ball head base plate on the lens and that gives us a much better center of gravity so the final weight with this setup came in at about 3.9 kilos so with the 500 gram ball head on the slider itself we are about 400 grams over for the test So with such a large camera and lens on top, it's super important to make sure you balance it correctly. Otherwise you'll tip over the slider and obviously drop your camera and stuff. So make sure if you're gonna tilt up or tilt down that you've either got shot bags either side of the slider or you've actually got it mounted to stands. So just be careful of that.
So overall, I'm stoked that uh, the C70 and the 24 to 105 fits and works on the Top Rig S60. I definitely think I'm going to use this a whole bunch for work now. I'll be excited to give the R5C a crack as well, just to take a bit of that weight off and just see if that handles any better and maybe if you can do some faster movements or things depending on what you need. But for my style of work where I do lots of interviews, I think the slow moving, repeatable back and forth is gonna be so handy. So I hope you enjoy the video, like and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you soon, cheers.